Hey everyone, in this video we will explore the same period last year function in Power BI. So let's start. This is a DAX uh, function. It's a time intelligence function. So I've got this uh, file here with me and I've got the data model where I've got the fact internet sales table which is linked to the dim date table uh, based on the order date. And what I've got is the calendar year and the sales amount corresponding to that calendar year. But what happens if I want to access the sales amount for the previous year? So for example, in this case, because two, there is no previous year before 2010, there will not be any value here. But 2011 will have values from 2010, 2012 will have values from 2011 and so on and so forth. So how do we do that? Uh, let's learn by creating DAX here. And I'll also copy the DAX in the video notes so you can uh, copy that and play along. Let's start. So I'll just click on new measure and we'll just call this um, sales amount last year and we will do a uh, we'll start with calculate and then we will say sum of sales amount so we're just setting the context here and then we will um, define the same so we'll say do same period last year so now uh, now we are saying that uh, find the sales for the last year and we'll pass on the date. So we will say um, so we'll use the date uh, field from the dim date and we'll close this and we'll close the bracket one more time and we'll hit enter. So now let's just grab this measure and put it into the tab tablex. And you can see here that this is working for us. So it is giving for in 2011, it is giving us that the same sales amount last year was 43,421. And for 2011, you can you can check the numbers that the numbers for same amount last year point to previous year's numbers. And as you can see, there's nothing from two th after 2014 and 2010, this field is blank because there is no value or sales amount before 2010. So in this video, we've learned how to uh, calculate the sales amount, but you could use uh, some other measure and calculate the sum of that measure for the previous year using the same period last year function. I'll also uh, copy this DAX and put it into the video notes so you can experiment with uh, whatever values you want to experiment with in your data model. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.